a bit about news. So Rick talked at Leadership Forum about a lot of the And that's been reflected in some of the coverage of Rouge Valley and the things that you do. So most recently, we posted something on our YouTube site, which uh, we've had for a while. We've got a few more videos on it now. And this one is an interview with uh, the guy who had a heart attack in December and came through the Code STEMI program. Uh, he was in Bowmanville, went through our Code STEMI program, and um, has had just a terrific outcome. He now walks two and a half miles a day. He's quite proud of that and was very thankful of the cardiac team at our event about a week and a half ago at Centenary that celebrated a year fast track uh, cardiac care program that we have. We call it the fast track program rather than code STEMI because externally people don't know what that is. Uh, but he certainly knows what it is and he was on Roger's cable. He was in the Scarborough Mirror and he's on our very own uh, YouTube site as well. Just thanking everyone for that. But we also are promoting the new laser and the program for the pulse dye laser uh, service we offer. Uh, it's something that's pretty exclusive to Rouge Valley. There are two hospitals in Ontario that do it. Uh, we're one of them. And if you've known anyone in, in your life who's had port wine stain, I can remember a couple of kids when I was in high school who had it. And uh, there wasn't a whole lot of treatment for it, or at least not very well known. They were heavily teased and um, sometimes even by people who were otherwise nice people and didn't realize how serious it was. So I think it's terrific that we we offer this program and it's something we're going to promote and we are going to get some press attention on it for sure because it really pulls at the heartstrings, I think, and it's something that we're going to have Dr. Mansur Bandego uh, talking about in the press. And it's already been in the hospital news and our press release on it just came out. The echo comes up, the printed echo. This one's a little extra big, 16 pages, has a lot of news in it. We just couldn't get it down to 12 this time. And it will include the strategic plan on the page as a centerpiece in it. Rick's blog, a lot of features, but just a lot of great news about what you're doing. So thank you very much.